Let's talk a little bit about setting boundaries with your family during the holiday season. You know, one thing you can expect during the holiday season is that it'll be stressful. And it's stressful for a lot of people, really, because New Year's is supposed to represent a new beginning, you know, where you take a look at the past years and think about how you want to be different, how you want to change, how you want your life to change, and make these resolutions and promises to yourself about how you want to be different. And also the holiday season is known for being all about good cheer and being happy and warm and friendly and things like that and giving. And, you know, that's a big expectation. And a lot of times with family, it turns out that what you really need is reasonable expectations, not these sort of sky-high expectations. And so you need to make really smaller goals about how you're going to relate to people during the holiday season. And you could expect some irritation, you know, some negative things happening as well when people get into contact with people they don't see very often. And so setting boundaries is an important thing. It's something you should do with your partner, with your children, you know, open it up for discussion and talk about what difficult moments they've experienced in the past. And then think about maybe how you want to limit your time or minimize negative experiences or what to do if you do encounter something like criticism from in-laws or siblings, you know, or really unwelcoming behavior. Then, you know, you'll be prepared if those things do happen with a response that, really reduces stress for yourself. That's really the key thing. Make the holidays a time of low stress, a time when you can really get in the frame of mind of renewing things for the new year. So you can be sure that next year is going to be a lot better than this past year. Let's talk a little bit more about managing personal stress during the holidays. One thing really to be aware of is that there are going to be times when you really need to take a break from social activity, from other people, and from your own worries as well. And find a time when, if you're feeling flooded, if you're overwhelmed by a sense that things aren't going well, that there's kind of danger in the social environment, is a time when you really need to get off by yourself. And when you do... Take a moment and breathe deeply and evenly at a rate of around 10 breaths a minute, deep breaths, and just sort of relax and look over your body, look into your body and see if there's any tension, any muscles that are tense. If you lift up your shoulders, you can see whether you're carrying an extra lot of responsibility on your shoulders if they're tense and tense them up intentionally, hold it that way and then relax. And look throughout your body at sources of tension, increase the tension for a few moments and hold it that way and then relax. And do that throughout your entire body. Keep breathing deeply and evenly. And that's a way of dealing with flooding, which is physiological arousal that really tells your body that things are not safe for you in this environment. So taking a moment for yourself is a very important thing to do.